Okay, everyone, welcome back. It is Tuesday night, April 12th. And I'm going to do two readings. I'm going to do a reading, a who's coming towards you reading, because I mentioned in one, in the po in, not one in the podcast, I mentioned in one of the readings, I don't remember which one, that some of you were going to have someone new coming into your life, completely new between the time of the full moon, I stated, which I think the full moon is... The 13th, I'm not sure. If the energy is already out, no matter. Now, in between the full moon and between the sun changing signs, that you all are going to have um, someone new coming towards you. And I want to pick up on the energy to see who this new person could be like that. So, let's go ahead and get started here. Show me which of the kings are going to show up. And then in the other reading, I don't know which one of you, you all are going to watch first. I'm just going to lay one complete spread here. Show me which of the kings would be showing up. Which of the kings would be showing up. Some of you, I'm going to do the, this separate reading for those of you that can be waiting for past people. I keep my options open. You all don't have to be like me. I'm like, until I walk down the aisle and I've been married twice, then today, at, put, at, say that they put a ring on it, I'm open like that. So you all don't have to be like that. Some of you could be stuck on old people. Some of you could be ready for the new person to come in like that. Okay, so that's why I'm going to do a reading for both of you, both groups. We had a seven of cups. That's keeping your options open. So... There could be a choice decision made. We had a queen of wands here. Somebody is, there's somebody that's coming towards you all. Your energy is showing up as the queen of wands. That's how they're going to see you, no matter, despite your sign. Like that, you're showing up as the queen of wands, Sagittarius, the old Aries energy. I'm a Sagittarius sun sign, as you all well know. You all are embodying the energy of the queen of wands regarding this person. And that's how they see you. So somebody, your op, a lot of choices and options around you, or or more choices and options around you. But we're looking at who's gonna come forward towards you like that. So your energy is that of the Queen of Wands. Very attractive, very alluring, very like Queen of Wands is very confident. You know, somebody, whoever this person is that is coming towards you out of, and you know, Libra, the full moon is going to be in Libra, right? Libra, that's the seventh house of romantic relationships. That's the seventh house of partnerships. So it would be th this person, every move you make, it would be that it's captivating for them. It is captivating. It's alluring. It is. It's captivating and it's alluring. Every move that you make, it, it doesn't matter what you're doing. You could be picking up a pencil off the floor. You could be, you know, sweeping. You could be down mopping or walking to your car. It is, the 16th is the full moon. I was trying to see when it is. And it's going to be in, is the 16th? It's in Libra. Now, so... Is whatever you, no matter what you're doing, it can actually be a king of wands coming towards you all like that, or a king of cops. Now, and remember here we're picking up new energy who's coming towards you out of the blue, someone you have not met. Now, whatever you do, it it's gonna it grabs someone's attention, someone specific. You can have a lot of eyes on you. You all could be very attractive during this time period are attracting a lot of people because when you're open to love that means that you're, you're attracting people towards you unknowingly now somebody is going to come towards you like that the, every move you make as i stated is going to be like captivating for them they're going to be hanging on to your every word when you're speaking you could be at work you could be at the supermarket you could be doing whatever everything every move you make Every word, they're just captivated by it. They're just mesmerized by it. And remember, the Queen of Wands is where it's about people being uh, attracted to her energy, like that. So, and navigating towards that energy, towards that warmth, towards that openness is the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands could be seductive also, or, or like that, or like 
that way. So that's what you all have here. So you have a king of cups so far until an actual king comes up or a king of wands or a king of wands with water in his chart. Uh, a Sagittarius or Aries with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in a chart or uh, like that or a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces with Sagittarius or Aries in a chart like that. We're talking about the sun then with the moon and the rising. So let's see who's coming towards them. They're spying on you. Whoever it is, it will be where they see you. I don't know. They're going to see you before you see them. They're, they're going to be spying on you. You may not even notice them. Queen of Wands in her own world. They're going to be spying on you. These could actually be two different people because you do have Seven of Cups here. So, because, and because we're in a partnership moon, <laughs> Seventh House Partnerships is like, okay, and then with the levees break, they break so you all could be attracting more than one person towards you it'll be up to you to choose and and and, and but one one of them somebody is going to come towards you more than one may come towards you you have to see where that go and how it goes one could be the jackpot out of this seven of cups you have to decide based on what you're looking for what you're wanting now show me So who's coming towards you? Well, it will be someone that is quite fascinated with you. You're very alluring to this person. They're very attracted to your energy like that. A king come. The king that I hate out of all the kings, the king of swords. It, so that's the that's who's gonna come towards you. I'm gonna do more of these readings. I'm gonna try to do one every day. Who's coming towards you, especially into the sun changes signs. Cause I think that that window of the full moon and Libra in the sun changing signs is gonna be very important and significant for a lot of you, as well as to somebody coming towards you. Now, some of you, it's gonna be the King of Swords. It's gonna be an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising person, man. It would be where it could be a Libra, sun sign male, because we had a full moon there. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you now. This would be. Let me clarify this, King of King of uh, King of Swords, because I don't want to be like biased, because I don't like him. It would be where okay. I, because I want to say that this relationship isn't going to work, but it could. A Gemini, Libra, Chris, female will match. That's their counterpart. So I was going to tell the rest of you that this isn't going to be a relationship that you would want. This would be a cold, dry relationship. It would be a distance, emo, distant, emotionally unfulfilled relationship. The sex will be horrible. It would be distant sex or unemotional sex, or not passionate sex. Hell, I thought the King of Wands was coming with the Queen of Wands here. It would be passionless. It would be distant. It would be unfulfilling. It would be emotionless. It would be about serving his needs, but he looks like a blimp. So he's like, it won't, you won't be attracted and wanting to serve them. It would be like a... A person for an air sign female, I guess. It would be... I guess you two have great conversations afterwards, but... It won't be for the Queen of Wands isn't gonna stay around for this relationship. So this, but this is someone that so this is what it's gonna be. Some of you you're gonna attract someone and you're gonna have to throw him back in here. Cause these are as I stated, eleven is gonna break because we're gonna be at a full moon. And it's like, is everybody that comes out of the moon isn't gonna be some of you you may feel that this is the part that you've always been wanting. Cause that's the counterpart to an air sign. So you may say, uh-uh, this is the one that I want. But for some of you, you're going to, this is who is coming towards you. Okay, so, and they're going to be very attracted and mesmerized by your energy. They're going to be very attracted, pulled towards your energy like that. 
but they don't have anything to offer you. The King of Swords has nothing to offer a Queen of Wands. It would have nothing to offer the Queen of Wands. Any type of passion and fiery energy and excitability, she would be bringing that. Like that. So, this, this, she, he, the King of Swords doesn't have the fire to keep the embers stoking like the, like the King of Wands where that passion and the love and openness like the King of Wands would be like openness, passionate, fire, like that. So this is somebody you're going to throw back in the damn lake when it comes. Or this is somebody you should say no to because somebody else is their counterpart. Somebody else matches them. You're not going to match this person. Now, show me this King of Swords. Show me the King of Swords energy. But he's going to be attracted towards you. He won't have anything to offer. Now the swords, you're not going to match that person. If you walk down this path, you're going to regret it. If you walk down this path with this person, it's an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You're going to regret it. It's going to be unfulfilling. You'll be bringing all the passion and the energy and the emotions. You'll be bringing all that to the table. It'll be unfulfilling. Show me... King of Swords, Three of Wands, you'll be waiting for fulfillment. This, So the, the person that comes towards you all, be careful with this person because it, it's going to be a King of Swords. It will be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun sign, man, and moon rising to a lesser extent, or it will be somebody, that, a masculine energy that embodies the characteristics of a, a, um, of a um, air sign male. Now, he's going to be attracted to the Queen of Wands. But he has nothing to offer the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is a fire sign. You have to partake in keeping the embers stoked. And that's when it builds up. But he wouldn't know how. This would be a one-sided relationship. It would be cold, unfulfilling. He wouldn't even be worth fulfilling like that. It's like, it's so, so no. That you'll be lacking. This person doesn't have anything to offer that King of Swords does it. It could be, so no, that wouldn't, that wouldn't be a relationship that you would be wanting. Mm-mm. So, you know, it's like sometimes you have to, that's a part of dating or being open to love and romance. Sometimes you have, it, it teaches you the lesson of what to throw back into the ocean when it jumps out. So, I, I don't think that that person will be correct. So, let's pull a, so if that one comes out, or somebody with those qualities, you're not going to want that. Show me who's coming towards them. We're leading up to the full moon energy now. So the intensity of you attracting towards you romantically is going to get more intense as we lead, get close to the full moon, through the energy of the full moon, and all the way up into the sun changing signs. We had a fool who's coming towards them. Oh. A Pisces. This is a Pisces. Some of you could be an Aries sun sign, Pisces sun sign. Aquarius again, sun sign. King of Swords is Aquarius, most specifically, be Gemini, Libra to a lesser extent. Men, Aries man, Aquarius man with the food, Pisces man with the hangman. Hey That's who's coming towards you all. Now, this man would know that you don't want him. Because that's why he's waiting for you to have your defenses down and he's going to slither in on his stomach like that. So, and because it would be like you, you with him coming towards you would be taking a risk because he would not be leading you anywhere positive. His intentions would not be positive. His intentions would not be positive. Show me the hangman. You will be blocking him. So, 
it's a good thing that you all have raised your standards and expectation or if they were already high, you made them higher. So you will be blocking him. You would not be willing to listen to what this one says. You would not be willing to have a communication with this one. You would not be willing to have them anywhere in your energy. This is blocking the person. No assets denied. Assets denied to your heart. You don't want to hear them and you don't want to see them. Now, this would be somebody that's coming towards you. Somebody you don't want to hear from. You don't want to see them. You don't want to hear anything they have to say. Nada. Zip. Nothing. Like that. Now. So, that's who's coming towards you. Now, I, 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 and you will have your reasons. Just because people are coming towards you doesn't mean that you're going to let them in like that. But some of you with that seven of cups, you have people coming towards you. And you don't even have to kiss these, these frogs to get to your prince. You just have to know what you will and would not waste time with and be able to sense it and not even engage. Especially this one here. It's like not even engage and you're, you just sense it. Okay. You had a ten of pentacles. You had a five of swords. This will be someone that will bring into your life a lot of mind games. Emotion and mental manipulation will come with this. The only reason that they'll come into your life is to play games and have you drop it to that level and plan it with them. This one person will come in and affect your vibration for the negative. They don't come in with anything positive to offer. They don't come in with anything, any positive intentions because they have nothing positive to offer and they don't have any positive intention like that. Now, that's why they're slithering on their stomach as, as opposed to standing up. They're the Knight of Wands, because that's all they know how to be, like that. So this would be someone you would be saying, hell no, this won't even go past hello, like that. Now, so who's coming towards them? We're going to do one more. Who's coming towards them? Some of you have to meet, like, somebody worth their energy. Okay, Valley La Pena. Let's see. Seven of Cups again. You have a lot of options and choices. Seven of Wands. Boundaries. You're, you're very... Those of you with, from, with this group here, you are very specific with who you allow to pass go and you decide what go is. These are boundaries. So this with, with this one, it could kind of actually go somewhere. It, it goes, it, it goes somewhere because it's like, this is like, things can start happening between you two. Like you two can start communicating, getting to know one another. And then it could be like, when it's time for something to go to the next level, you have your boundary like that. Or as you're communicating with them and with this specific choice for those of you here, that this is going to be the situation as you're communicating, you may let this person to get to know you. And as you're letting get them get to know you, you have your, like your boundaries or your guard up like that. That's the seven of wands. It could be a Leo sun sign man. It could be a Scorpio for those of you here sun sign man let's see show me this seven of wands because that second group some, some of you that was slithering on their stomach you only don't even want to talk to them or look at them like that okay oh shit king of swords some of you have an air sign of gemini libra aquarius Man that wants you like bad. It's a it's a it's a air sign that wants you. This could be completely different from the other King of Swords. Those of you with the first group. This could be another King of Swords. He could have Leo in his chart. Like that. He could be a Leo son with a Aquarius 
moon or a Gemini or Libra moon, or he could be a Aquarius sun with a, a Leo moon like that. Now, and it's like, and then Scorpio could be somewhere in the midst, like that type of combination of a man. So some of you have a king of swords that uh, something is going to develop with, the, the relationship is going to start to develop, but you're going to be like with your boundaries up like that. Okay, so let's see. That's what I stated with the, with the first group. Some of you may feel like this King of Swords is your match made in heaven. Like that. Some of you, that King of Swords, it could be your person. You know, so. Seven of Cups. Twice. Because you know what's going to happen with you out with this group? Something is going to start developing and moving forward between you and this person. And you're going to put your boundary up and start reevaluating this choice. Or, uh, asking yourself, should this continue? Do I really want to... As if you start getting allowing somebody to get to know you and you two start getting to know one another and it's going good but then something calls you to put your boundary up or it could not even be putting your boundary up the seven one can show that you're just elevated and when it's time for the relationship to move to the next level or the next stage you reevaluate if this is the correct choice and if you want things to be moved forward and move to the next stage with them that's for us of you ten of wands because you could feel that it could be a Something about it for you would cause you to feel that it's too oppressive because it's with the King of Swords again, even for you all with group three, the King of Swords, you're not going to be able to be yourself unless you're a Queen of Swords. So those of you that aren't a Queen of Swords, you're not going to be able to be yourself with this person. That The King of Swords energy is oppressive because they don't open up, they don't share, they don't, they don't have any fire to them unless they have a lot of fire in their chart. So it will be oppress your energy like that. You know, it'll have you investing and not knowing where you're going. It's like, it'll be, it'll be an unfulfilling relationship here again. Or you'll be reevaluating. It'll start feeling oppressive rather quickly. So I could tell you all one thing. A king of swords is not your match. Some of you, a king of swords is going to come towards you. This is what the readings are telling me. A king of swords, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male, sun sign. Or somebody with a lot of air in the chart, a man, or embodying those qualities of the king of swords. And you're not going to like that relationship. It would be too oppressive. You wouldn't be able to be yourself with this person. You may be able to start off being yourself, but then it'll be short-lived. They don't, the king of swords doesn't, can't keep that going like that. So, no, it, it, the relationship become dry and rather stale quite quickly like that. So, no, this will not be the one. A king of swords is going to come towards you all. We had a ten of pentacles. And a ten of cups. He could be wanting some type of commitment. Both of these cards are about commitment. He can want some type of commitment. As far as he would be concerned, if he would want commitment with you. Those of you in this third group here. Ten of cups. He'll be willing to do whatever. This is commitment. Practical. This is commitment. Emotional. He'll be in love with you, but you'll reevaluate this because it'll be oppressive. You have your boundary up or it's going to not feel right. It's going to, you're not going to be able to be yourself with this person, but they're going to maybe love you and want to be committed to you and be willing to do whatever it takes to have a relationship, a commitment, a marriage with you. The Ten of Pentacles is what that would know in the Ten of Cups. So this is this is a situation where the person will feel that you're their person more so than you will feel that they're your person. But I think that you would start to have the red flags about them potentially not being your person before you get committed to them. If you allow commitment to happen, you will start feeling that back here when, they, when it's time for things to move up to the next level. And you reevaluate this as a permanent choice, or you, when it's time for you to make this choice concrete like that, it, it's gonna be because uh, you, you're gonna feel that it's a little oppresses or cause you to suppress your energy, 
or pressure energy. Cause the King of Swords is a very strong energy. It's ruled by Saturn. I have Moon and Capricorn. Of uh, uh, Aquarius is also ruled by Saturn, and it's co-ruled by Uranus, but it's mostly Saturnian. It's cold steel, stoic. Unless it has a lot of water or a lot of fire. So it's oppressive. This is oppression. It's Saturn and Sagittarius. Okay. Now, it's, it's oppressive. It's a, with suppressed energy. The coldness from it. This person is going to want to be in a long-term relationship with you. And you have to decide if you want to have that happen. Okay, everyone. That's the reading. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye.